this is why in the morning hashtag fasty vibes where we get to give you good music great conversations and we get to tell you what is happening around you know be it entertainment um politics business everything you know every other thing that is happening and you know today's on thursday how we do this <laughs> we get to do music and lifestyle we're just from sakwa is from having a comprehensive talk on software development chat gpt nilemon gpt cgtp you know yeah now we've gotten to the part where we get to do the interview on music and lifestyle and this week's music and lifestyle you're just from watching her video she is called dorika but she is in studio so i want to allow her to introduce herself karibu sana thank you so much i'm dorika k kisalimia uh, my fans i'm dorika k uh that is the, the the name that i use in uh, music industry uh and i'm saved and uh, I'm married and I have three children by the grace of God and I really thank God for that. Then we are Koka and I really love Jesus to be my savior. Amazing, amazing. You know, it's not like, it's not nowadays what we are pindi kusema wame okoka. Tunaona kuokoka si ubabi. A lot of times. So it's it's really interesting. It's really nice that you're able to say it out there that Nimokoka is Sunibona, you know? But but just starting right into it, who is Dorika? Um what defines Dorika? Yes, I'm a, I'm a gospel. In terms of music now, how yes. I'm a gospel artist. Uh, I also write music by the grace of God. And I really thank God for that. When did yeah. you, why music? How did you end up into yes. doing music? Um, when I was young, I was in class seven. That's when I got saved. And then uh, God gave me a song. I composed my first song when I was in class seven. So that's when I, I got to know that uh, God has given me that talent. And I had to use it, uh, even when I was uh, a young, um, a, a youth. Mm. Um, I was a choir mistress in my choir at home. I used to compose songs. Um, I used to train the choir. And then we go to the competitions. You understand that at, at mm -hmm. church. Mm. We used to go to competitions. And then I, I, grew, I grew in that way. Then later, in 2018, that's when I did my first album. Uh, called Neno Moja. Yes. Yeah. Um, what, what does Neno Moja talk about? It's your first song, right? Yes. Uh -huh. It's the, my, my first album. Mm -hmm. um, Neno Moja. Uh, I called this album Neno Moja because uh, the only thing that I want to, 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 to have in my life, it's only God. Um, because in the book of Psalms 27 uh, and verse 4, uh, the psalmist David says that the only one thing that I ask of the Lord, mm -hmm. and this is the only that I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord to gaze upon the beauty. his beauty yeah. all the days of my life. Mm -hmm. And that is my desire all mm -hmm. my life to be in the mm -hmm. presence of God and to gaze in his beauty all the days of my life yeah nice i'm one person who appreciates stories you know i believe before someone is made before you're able to sit here and we talk about your music umetoka mahali do you have a story you'd want to share of your success story of course mm -hmm. you want yeah. to share with us yes okay thank you <laughs> i would love to maybe i can encourage someone mm, true um when i started my music uh, in 2018 actually my music um it did not come out clear in the first studio that i i, uh, I recorded my music and i was so disappointed but i did not give up because i have a goal that I must achieve in, uh, in this music industry. So um, I recorded again in another studio. 
And then that studio was closed. So I had to go and repeat it a third time. Yes. So I was so determined. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. So uh, up to where I am, mm -hmm. I can say that it is by the grace of God. Not by my power or might, but it is because of God that I'm here today. Yeah. So what, what inspires your message in terms of um, how you write your music? Because I think you said you write your own music, right? Yes, so I write music. Mm -hmm. And uh, I can say when I write a music, it mm -hmm. is the message mm -hmm. that I always hear from God. Mm -hmm. It can be different messages from God. When I hear the message, maybe through a dream, or someone has talked mm -hmm. a, a certain message mm -hmm. and I feel that that message, I'm supposed to put it in writing a song. I do it. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Mm. Um, among the songs you have written, among the songs you have done, you have a favorite? <laughs> <laughs> I love all the songs. Uh -huh. Uh, because I'm the one who has done them, and uh, they have uh, different messages, and I love them all. But there is, uh, I can say, two songs eh? mm -hmm. that if I've not sung them, I will not feel mm. okay. <laughs> the first one is Nenomoja, mm -hmm. because that's the only thing that I desire in my life. And I would love uh, even to tell someone outside mm -hmm. there that the only thing, even when we are in this music industry, if you do not ground yourself in God, then you are, going en you are not going anywhere. Uh, another song, uh, in everything that you do, I love to encourage someone mm that lean on Jesus Christ because he's the founder and the perfecter of our faith. Mm -hmm. Yes, because in him we are perfected. We are weak, but we are perfected in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Wow. You want to sing the Nomoja a uh, portion yes. of it? Yes, it's all Thank right. you. Okay. Um, Neno moja na omba nikae, nyumbani mwako siku zote. Neno moja na omba nikae, nyumbani mwako siku zote. Neno moja na omba, na londi londi takalo kwako. Nikae nyumbani mwako Siku zote za maisha yangu Ni utazame uzuri wako Fadhili zako pia na rehema zako Natamani niwe wako we Uwe wangu ni ishi pamoja na uwe Natamani niwe wakowe uwe wangu ni ishi pamoja nawe neno moja na omba nikae nyumbani mwako siku zote neno moja na omba nikae nyumbani mwako Siku zote. Hey, film kama neza kuwa musician, guys, <laughs> bana. Uh, last week, nilambua na saku a lot of, um, lot of um, skills in this studio, you know. Na film ni kama tunafaa kuenda heaven to say, you know. Neno moja na umba ni kwa kwa kwa. What are some of the challenges you have experienced as a musician? Writing music and doing music. Okay. Especially in the gospel industry. Yes. Um, in writing music, I can say that uh, most of the common challenge, uh, you must 
find the, the content. And coming up with a content that people can listen to, sometimes it may be a challenge because you can come out. Uh, I, I think you have listened to so many new musicians who have sung. Um, and sometimes someone can come up with a, a content and you listen to it, you feel like uh, this is not the, the really message that I want to listen to. So you have to go into prayer and seek God to help you so that any message that you, you bring out, it may help because um, my work, it is to preach to people so that people, when they listen to this mu music that I have done, they will be saved, they will be encouraged. So that is my, my, my reason of doing this uh, music. And another challenge, maybe in, in recording, sometimes you may lack funds, uh, sometimes uh, you may find that you do not have even the, the, the time to go and record your music because you know that, like right now, I'm a married woman. So sometimes it's a challenge, balancing here and there, but we, the grace of God is sufficient in everything because when God has put a message in you, he always finds a way out that you can put it outside there so that people can listen to what he has given you in your heart. There's, um, there's, um, there's a discussion that I think, I feel has not been exhausted about um, worship ministers. I prefer to call them that. About worship ministers being appreciated in the churches they serve. What's your opinion on that? Okay. Appreciated or paid? One of the two. Okay. Uh, to me, uh, appreciation, it's okay. <coughs> but uh, maybe I can go to this direction. Eh? You may not uh, be appreciated, maybe at the church that you are serving or uh, in other, any other church that you are going to minister. But what I tell myself when I go to minister outside there, I may not get to be appreciated. So long as I'm doing what God has sent me, the message that God has put in me, so long as I'm giving it to people, it doesn't worry me. If it is appreciated, it will just come later at it is on time. That's what I tell myself. Because if I focus to that direction, then I will not be able to minister to God. I will not be able to minister. I will be discouraged each and every time, and I will not um, be able to do the work of God the way it is supposed to be. Yeah. Should um, worship ministers have a rate card? Mm. By a rate card, I mean, you see the way um, when you invite a secular musician, they tell you, Mimi no ni kuja event yako, you'll pay me 150, you'll pay me 200. So should worship ministers have a rate card? Like, should they, when you invite them, should they come and tell you, for you to have me come into your show, you need to give me 100,000 or 50,000? Well, I think uh, most of us, we have forgot uh, what called the purpose to which God called us to. If you know the purpose to which God called you, then you know to do that. To me, if you call me, if you love to appreciate me, yes, I will accept. But if you do not want to appreciate me, then I just leave it. So to me, no. To me, as a gospel artist, and a gospel artist was saved, this is the message God has given you for free. Just spread it for free. But if that money comes, 
someone calls you and tells you we are going to give you this and this, just come and uh, grace our event, then it's okay. But you have invested money into your video and into your work. Of course. Mm -hmm. But if you put regulations mm -hmm. in this ministry, let me tell you, you will not be able to minister. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. all I know. <laughs> you will not be able to minister. Yeah. I tell you today that I'm not coming to your church because I've gone to so many churches uh, in the place that I, I, I stay. I've gone to so many churches and I've not been given even a single cent. Because maybe this church, they need your ministry. There are some people there you're going to encourage. There are some people there who got, get saved because of your, um, uh, your music. And then you are telling them, you must pay me 50000 <laughs> so that you can get saved. No. <laughs> even the city sometimes, I give them for free. I was telling another pastor that I, uh, I missed that two, uh, two, uh, in, 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 in his church like uh, two, two months ago, mm -hmm. one to two months ago. Mm -hmm. I was telling him, I feel like I can give, it, I give out these CDs for free so that people can listen to this message. Mm -hmm. Because what if I tell you that I'm selling this seed and you'd not have money? Mm -hmm. Have I preached the gospel? <laughs> have I accomplished the mission that God has sent mm -hmm. me? Because in Matthew 28, verse 19 and 20, the Bible says that you go, are commanded to go mm -hmm. and make disciples. So to me, this is the gift that God has given me. And I'm preaching through uh, my music. Mm -hmm. It's like a pastor who is standing on the pulpit and preaching to people. So to me, I'm preaching th through my gospel. Yeah, the gospel that God has given me by grace. <laughs> as, we, as we approach a close mm. of this conversation, what would you say is the greatest need of the music industry right now? In terms, especially now that you're in the gospel industry. Sorry? What is the greatest need mm. of um, the music industry, the gospel music industry as of now? In your opinion? Um, okay. I can say that um, the need that uh, is in the music industry, the gospel, is that uh, we need to rise. We need to rise mm -hmm. and preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you, people are lost outside there. Uh, we always say that the laborers are few. The harvest is plenty. But the harvest is, is plenty. Mm -hmm. So it is me, as Dorica, to go outside there. Being appreciated or not, to preach the gospel of God. So that we can... Our, our, our goal is to populate heaven and to populate yeah. hell. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Any other thing you want to share? Maybe I'll have to encourage someone outside there. Um, uh, maybe someone needs upcoming uh, minister and uh, they have challenges. Uh, they want to, to put their music into recording and maybe they are not able, me, I'll just encourage someone outside there that when you are in court, you have everything. Just write your music, and the appointment of court will reach. When God will make that music, all that, whatever he has put in you, to come out of you, because you, he has to use you, because he's the one who has given you that gift. Mm -hmm. You have not given it to yourself. So get encouraged, be hardworking, um, be determined, and above it all, be consistent. Because without all those, and they put God ahead in everything that you're doing, God will make it a success. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. 
thank you, thank for, you for sharing. I'd want to ask you to give us a parting shot using that camera. And Salimia, my fans, tell us where we can find you on social media. Okay, thank you for watching me um, in this channel, Y254. May um, God bless you. I love to greet my husband who's watching me. Uh, I love you so much and thank you for making this day a success because if you not have allowed me to come to this place to, to preach or to preach through gospel, I would not have been in this place. So I appreciate you so much and I love you so much. Uh, even my children in absentia, they're in school, but um, I love you so much. My, my fans who are watching me, uh, continue watching me, continue subscribing to my channel. And uh, I would love to appreciate even Mose who made it that uh, I come to this place today. And also, uh, I would love to greet my SITAM members. Uh, I fellowship at SITAM Ngong. I love you so much. I know you're watching me. May God bless you and uh, some of you for being mentors to me. That's why I'm here today so that I can propagate this gospel of God to many people so that we can populate heaven and depopulate hell. So may God bless you. You can find me in uh, YouTube, Dorica K. Uh, Dorica K is D-O-R-C-A-H and then K. And uh, in uh, YouTube, you'll find me as Dorica K. Daktari. Um, that's where you can find me. May God bless you all as we, we get blessed with the music. Thank Amen. you. I love how you appreciated your husband. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. It's amazing in this age and era. Thank you so much. Do not touch that dial. Moi is coming back right up. <laughs>